it's Tuesday the 8th of June 2021 it's a gorgeous day blue sky a few wispy clouds but nothing else it's about quarter past seven I've been up for well I don't actually feel like I slept at all last night so watch this space see how I'll be flagging later I'm sure I did sleep some but it felt like I was looking at the clock every five minutes last night. Anyway, uh, I've already done my social media posts. I um, emailed a lady that I'm getting some stock from for the shop, which I will show you when it arrives rather than telling you now what that is. Um, what else have I done? I've Googled some stuff. Oh, I updated my bids for the auction that I did yesterday. So I've been a busy bee already this morning. Um, I'm out walking Jenny at the moment. And my plans for today is to sort through a lot of stock that I've got in the shop. Saturday was a busy day in the shop. I also had some stock brought in from a customer, so that was good. Um, which I will show some of it to you later. Sunday was a full car boot day. I had two big car boots. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, so that was a full day. And then yesterday I did an auction viewing in the morning, took my daughter to the bank to sort out the things she needed to sort out, student account and all that sort of thing. And then uh, had a bit of a rest, I felt like I needed it in the afternoon, but did go through the auction and leave some bids for the auction in the afternoon. So. I am going to put my phone away, there's a few people looking at me strangely, and I'll catch up with you later. Ta-da! I is in the shop. It's, I don't know what time it is. It's probably about quarter past nine. Blinds are out. I've swept up outside. I've even hoovered the shop. Uh, one of the things of living in the countryside in Devon is you get tractors coming through the town with, um, you know, trailers full of grass or whatever and it all flies everywhere and then it ends up in the shop. Right, I have got stuff everywhere. I will show you some of it. I won't have a chance to show you everything today. Um, but I've got to make the most of it because next weekend I can't do car boots. So this has got to last me a couple of weeks. So I might string it out for myself as well as you. Um, so I feel like I've got some new stuff. Knowing me, I won't. I'll just get on with it and clear it. There were a couple of bits, you know, when I went to pick up from the auction last time. And I, when I was going through it, I thought, I'm sure there was something else in that listing when I bid online and I looked at the picture again and realised that I hadn't got one of the things that was in the picture. <laughs> this Dartington glass thing. Um, so I phoned up the auction house and said, oh, I think I've left it behind. And he said, oh yeah, I'll put it to one side for you, you can come and collect it next time. So when I went to the viewing yesterday, I asked him and he said there was another thing as well. So I had two things that I'd left behind. They were on a really high shelf and I couldn't reach the back or see the back so they were obviously back there and my short little legs did not accommodate me reaching properly right i am going to uh, make myself some space and then i'll start showing you some things so on saturday a chap brought me some stock in um i've got a couple of boxes of some pottery and some china and stuff that i need to sort through and he also brought me these Franklin Mint Fabergé, no, House of Fabergé eggs. They're like trinket pots. Um, there's quite a lot of them. There's, I think, 27 of these. I've got boxes for them, but I don't know if they're in the right boxes because there's 27 of them and then what boxes might have got mixed up and they've got like a serial number on them and I, I just haven't got the energy all the time to sort through all the boxes and make sure they're in the right ones. But it's this kind of thing. So, 
a little stand and an enamel egg and they're trinket boxes so they open up like this and then they stand on the stand like this so they look nice in a little display cabinet that's it in the box now most of them have got like a little decorative spoon with them as well and a leaflet about the design um but not all of them so i've listed i have actually already listed these on my website um i took photos on saturday late afternoon and then i've got them listed over the weekend so here's another one this one's called milky way oops drop in the box it's very sparkly you see it's got the stand like that and it opens up it's purple inside I've no idea how much these things cost new, but um, as I say, I have listed them on my website, um, so you can go and have a little look if you want to. Should we open one more? Was that one that I just showed you? I can't remember. What's this one? This one's called Night Flower. Oh no! Just realised that the leg's broken on that one. <sighs> That's a pain. What a shame. It can't have been when I put it in, so it's done that since. So there's the egg. Like that. And then it's got the leaflet and the little spoon. So I will have to go back and change that listing to say it hasn't got a stand. It's a shame. It's probably because it's in the wrong box that doesn't fit properly. I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, and it also, there was a few other bits that came with it. Unfortunately, a couple of them are broken. So there's this one, which has got like a kingfisher inside. And there's the stand for it. But there's a flower broken off the top there. So I'll probably just sell that in the shop again this one's a bit broken i don't know if this is a franklin mint one it doesn't look it to me it just looks like a a different one but i assume it would have had something else on the front and the wing of the birds broken there this is a franklin mint one it's got a nativity scene inside um so that one's on my website there were a couple like this which i haven't listed yet Again, they're just like trinket boxes. I don't think these are Franklin Mint ones. They're just of a similar style. Well, they could be. I don't know. And then there's this, which is called a spring egg basket. So it's like porcelain hand-painted basket. And then there's nine of these different eggs. And these are all got, this is 24 karat gold on there. So that's on my website as well. So I need to find a home for those. I think I'm going to um, have them in the back rather than out on the shelf at the moment, only because they've got the spoons and the leaflets and the boxes and I'm not quite sure how I'd keep track of those. So um, yeah, might just put them in a box in the back. The same chap bought me a bit of china. I've got some um, Royal Albert, uh, lavender rose design china so there's um unfortunately there's only four cups and saucers there were five but one's broken as in it was like that when he gave it to me uh, and saucers and little tea plates and a sort of sandwich platter thing and a teapot it's rather nice isn't it i mean royal albert's a good bone china and then there's a milk jug and a sugar bowl and there goes one of the eggs flying over i've got so much on his table i can barely move so i'm just putting back these like the little glass vase that i picked up from the auction house that i'd, le that I'd left <laughs> and then down the end here i've just put out some beer glasses that i picked up on sunday which has filled up my beer glass shelves quite nicely yeah it's looking nice and full again now
it was looking a little bit sparse. Pick this up on Sunday as well. I'm um, kind of thinking it'd be useful for displaying things, maybe even my little furry animals. Hmm, give it some thought. Picked out a few bits that I picked up on a Sunday to show you. Um, little metal jewellery box, velvet lined. I just thought it's ideal gifty thing for people to pick up along the same lines this one's a little bit damaged but it's still it's still a nice thing it's a pastimes one it's still got a sticker on the back it's sort of macintosh design it's just a little bit can you see there but it's still still a really pretty little thing so there's that um i've got this little jewelry box and then I bought a couple of these. So they're for the earrings. So they're wood turned, but they're about quite expensive to buy new um, with the holes in. So you can hang your earrings in and then there's a double one like this. So I thought they were rather nice. And then this little bowl, lots of, feels like plastic. It's got this lovely Chinese dragon on the front. And there is a mark on there, can you see? Um, so it's like that lap. Made the camera move a bit then. Let me put my glasses on. It's only caught past 11. Who already had headache came on really quick. So I've taken some anodin extra and I've had a cup of tea. And the double caffeine hit has <laughs> cleared my headache, so that's good. I've not had any tea yet today. Um, and I've tried to be a bit more low carb with my breakfast and I think my body's going, no! I watched, um, yesterday, I'm all a bit of anger, I watched a video of my own from two years ago where I was feeling really rubbish and that's where I am all over again now. So I sorted it all out with my low carb eating and my healthy lifestyle. Sorry, I'm going to leave you on an angle. And... Um, my own stupidities take me straight back to where I was two years ago. So I've got to start all over again. Um, and I know it's not going to be easy, so just going to get on with it. Right, um, I got out a coal scuttle and a few bits of pottery and stuff. I'll find some more things to show you. It's not what I'd call busy, but I've had a few sales, so that's okay. Uh, Want to see some more things? Some more things? Um, I got this nice studio pottery planter it's quite heavy it is signed but i think it's won't be anybody that you'll have heard of but it's a nice solid thing i got this uh, metal worcester wow oh, it's still got a sticker on the back that uh, tray and then there was a guy he had a stall he did have quite a lot of nice things um but his pricing was funny. So this I picked out and I said, how much is this? And he said, oh, you picked the best thing on the store. You've got a good eye. And then he said, it's over a hundred years old. And I said, oh, is it? How do you know that? And he said, it's because the lady that I bought it from, nice lady like you, uh, she told me. <laughs> so um, great provenance, but um, I just liked it. You see, it's got that detail. Um, bronze? I'm not sure what that's made of. Just a lovely thing. So, over 100 years old, he says. Okay, going back to some of the stuff that came in on Saturday from a customer. It's quite a lot of glassware. Um, I'll decide later, but I might pack it up and put it away towards Christmas time because there's a. Um, some glass bowls which obviously people think oh trifles at Christmas um I could put those away for then because I've got a few out at the moment there's a, a lower dish that's quite nice isn't it um then there's a cake stand similar I might keep that because I don't think I've got any cake stands at the moment there's a set of six of these pretty little 
like ice cream or fruit salad dishes, a couple of little glass jugs. Um, there's a little glass with an N on the front. Any ideas? Is that any particular sort of alcohol? Can you see that? With a crown. Um, there's only three of these, but these are cute. They're like shot glasses. Um, again, there's only three of these. It's quite sweet. Little um, dessert dishes. A couple of random other glass dishes showing you all that oh two of these quite nice with the retro sort of 70s or 60s you see that design there and then a royal evesham cake stand whether that's the original or somebody's made it into a cake stand because this to me doesn't look the quality that you'd normally get with Royal Worcester but I might be wrong and the cake stand goes right through the the marking for the thing so maybe somebody's made it themselves with an ornament plate but still that'll sell well um a tie press or you could use it as a flower press uh, a couple of these like um Chinese relaxation things There you go and lastly a set of cake forks so i'll get on price some of that up maybe pack some away i'll decide so i thought i'd show you a couple more things before you get bored of my haul ow i just bent my nail back <laughs> i picked up this i've had some earrings um that were gold plated real leaf ones and they sold really well but this one i don't know if it's gold Ooh, what was i saying before i was so rudely interrupted i don't know if that's gold plated or if it's just gold tone but it's a scarf ring rather than a brooch but you know good uh, i saw these in the house clearance boxes um and i have sold recorders before um that make Aulos or Aulos I don't know how you pronounce that I've looked this one up and this one's worth about a tenner this one on the other hand uh, which is a biggie um it's in parts should hopefully be worth about 30 pounds so that's good I also picked up a sewing basket um, it's not in fantastic nick you can see on the front there it's got some pores unless that's supposed to be the clouds that could be the clouds couldn't it anywho um, I think I paid two quid for this so I'm gonna put a tenner on it and hopefully sell it in the shop right do you want to see some more or shall I save it for tomorrow right just relit my wax melt rhubarb and rose it's very nice um i'll just show you a couple more things before i round up the vlog um i got some Bezic figures from a chap at the carby on sunday i got this very nice owl um this is gorgeous tractor um it's got an old style sticker on there made in england very nice and then i got a couple of pigs got this one standing i mean look how cute their faces are and then a sitting one as well look at that gorgeous so i've got loads more stuff to go through um i will carry on showing you stuff in the next few days i hope you enjoyed it um hope you're enjoying the sun let me know what your favorites are check out there's more of those decorative egg things on my website if you're interested um and in the meantime take care stay safe and i'll see you soon